do you know that you have value, that you have purpose, that you are here for reasons, and not just one reason, reasons, many, 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 many reasons that you're going to experience over the course of your life? If you're not feeling it, I get that. I mean, we're constantly being bombarded with the message that life is pointless, that it's worthless, that we're just a plague species on the planet. But the people sending you that message, they have their own purposes and their own reasons for wanting you to feel that way. A lot of it has to do with your wallet. A lot of it, I think, is just some people wanting to feel like they're smarter than God, which we know how that works out, don't we? But God said, before I formed you in the womb, I chose you. I chose you for this life. You were constructed specifically to be you because you are needed here. If you're here, you're needed here. You're, you're needed to be you. In some translations, the line from Jeremiah reads, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. So God knows us. He knows us inside and out. Well, there's no surprises here for him. And he specifically said, this is the person I'm going to make and put here at this time in this universe for this moment. That doesn't necessarily mean you're having fun right now. Circumstances can be extremely difficult. But many times it's in those circumstances when we're having the least amount of fun that we are most fulfilling our purpose. Or at least that purpose at that time, because there will be more. So be patient with God, be patient with yourself, be patient with life and whatever it's throwing at you. Hang in there. Remember, this is all to a purpose. There's a link in the description about Titus O'Neill. You should read that. It's about a guy who is an absolute superstar in world wrestling entertainment, yet his beginnings, his upbringing, the most difficult of circumstances. And sometimes it's from these circumstances that God likes to say, watch what I can do. Watch what I can make out of this. No matter what the disaster that you're in, no matter how bad it is, God's just looking at it like, all right, now let's watch. Watch what I can do here. Because he can do anything. And he can work with anything. It's more than the loaves and the fishes. He can work with anything. And a lot of times he does these things specifically to prove that out of darkness comes light. Yeah, I know. This isn't my usual video. Normally it's about rain or trains or cookies or snow. But I mean, every once in a while I have something to say. I've just been fixated the last few days on this concept that the all-powerful, all-knowing, all-everything king of the universe took the time to create each one of us very specifically. Not like, oh, create everybody. Nope. Took the time and said, all right, this is you. And I'm going to focus on you. I'm going to focus on you your whole life. And we're going to go through this together because he's not limited by time or space or anything like that. With you, I'm going to be with you your whole life. And some of it's not going to be fun. And Jesus knows what it's like to not have fun. Okay? But together, you're going to get through everything. And I, I don't have this. This isn't planned for someone I know. This isn't like I feel like such and such needs a message. I, I, feel, I, feel like, I don't feel like I have to encourage any specific person. But I feel like I have to make this video and I don't know why. So if this video is for you, Thank God, because I didn't know to make it specifically for any reason, but I felt like it had to be made. I don't know why. Maybe it's my own vanity. Maybe it is something that I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know. But I know that God will take it and do something good with it. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful day.